Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tech Gamers World. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily update the firmware on your Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 flight stick. So let's get it started. This is actually a very simple process. So why do you need to update firmware? Well, firmware is a set of instructions that the device uses for communications and configurations with a computer, with an Xbox, etc. So you want to make sure that that, was, that firmware is up to date based on the latest version provided by the manufacturer. So I'm going to show you how to do that now with this flight stick. So before you can update the firmware or plug the flight stick into a computer, you need to make sure the computer has something called drivers. Drivers are a set of instructions the computer needs to understand the device that's being plugged into it. So as an example, if you don't have the drivers installed for the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 flight stick and you plug it into a computer, it's possible the computer may not recognize the device. We'll see it as a generic device and then certain functionality won't work. You may not have access control. You may not have throttle control. Some of the buttons may not work. So you always wanna make sure that the drivers are installed and available before plugging the device in. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. And it's a very simple process. So open up your web browser of choice. In my case, I'm gonna use Microsoft Edge. We're gonna search for Thrustmaster drivers. And the very first website that shows up will take you to the Thrustmaster technical support website. So here is the Thrustmaster technical support website. This website has everything you need for Thrustmaster stuff, applications, drivers, firmware, uh, various configurations for any type of flight stick, racing wheels, game pads, headsets, you name it, this website has it. For purposes of our video, we need the firmware and drivers for a Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 flight stick, otherwise known as a joystick. So we're gonna go ahead to here and select joysticks. And now you see here that you get a bunch of them. So you need to know which joystick it is that you have, whether you have a HOTUS Warthog or a T-16000M or a T-Flight HOTUS 4 or a T-Flight HOTUS 1 you need to be very specific in which one you select. So I know that I have a Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1. And a real quick way to spot the difference between a Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 and a Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 4, for example, because the names are very similar. A HOTUS 1 is supported with Microsoft Xbox One Series S and X and a PC. The Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 4 is only supported with Sony PlayStation 4 and 5 and a PC. So you need to make sure whichever flight stick you have connected to the computer to update the firmware is the correct one. So we're going to go ahead here and go to the T-Flight HOTUS 1 because that's what this is. Now it's going to take us to the support page. You'll know you're on the support page when you see T-Flight HOTUS 1 and some product numbers. Now you've got all this bright yellow stuff going on here with these 1990s style graphics, but still is a very functional and good website. So it says, warning, use on PC important information. If you were using the T-Flight HOTUS 1 on a PC, Windows 10 or 11, it is imperative that you first install the corresponding PC driver should you fail to do so, some axes and or buttons may not work properly. So this goes back to what I said earlier. You need to make sure before you even connect this device to your computer that you have the drivers installed. Otherwise, the device you're connecting may not work properly. That goes for printers, cameras, uh, you name it. Now, modern operating systems such as Windows 10 and 11 will sometimes download the drivers automatically for you. Don't always count on that. If you have a Logitech Brio camera or a, any other web camera, uh, a printer that you're gonna direct connect or a flight stick, get the drivers first from the manufacturer. 
It's just to ensure maximum compatibility and less issues. So for us, we're going to scroll down here and take a look. Here is the control panel properties they're showing you. And this website states that as of November 2023, your joysticks firmware version appears in the control panel tabs. Firmware 1.17 is the latest version. So basically what that means is if you plug your flight stick in and it's any version less than 1.17, you don't have the latest version of the firmware. So I don't know what this particular flight stick is going to have for firmware because I've never actually used this one before. This was for a friend of mine and I am just going to update it for them. So what we want to do is scroll down further. We see different things here. We have manual drivers and firmware. If you would like the product manual, you can go ahead and download it. And you can see here the subversions that it supports. The T flight HOTUS one is supported on PC. So that's Microsoft windows seven, eight, 10 and 11. If you have an Xbox one or an Xbox series X or S, this is the flight stick for you. So I'm going to go ahead here and download drivers. So we want to download drivers package 2023 underscore TFHT underscore two plus firmware. So that means this is a package. The package includes the application, the drivers and the firmware, and it's supported on windows 10 and 11. So if you were to run this on an older machine, that's pre windows 10, it's not guaranteed that the control panel application will work. So you may only have to be able to download the firmware, but for purposes of this sake, because we're running windows 11, we'll download the driver package. So as the package downloads, we just have to hit open file and you will be greeted with a prompt, which might cause my screen to flicker out for a minute. So here is the TM flight series installation wizard. This is going to install the application. So the installation wizard will install the TM flight series on your computer to continue. Click next, accept the terms of the agreement. Just tell it to save in the default location. If you have a certain location that you'd like it to install in, you can change it here, but for 99.9% .9 of the users, just let it install into the program files on the C drive. This is a very lightweight application. It will not consume any considerable amount of disk space, CPU, or RAM. And then we're just going to head and hit install and it should install fairly quickly depending on your computer. Because as I said, this is a lightweight application. And now, as you can see, it is installing the different drivers that are corresponding to the flight stick you're installing. The installation wizard has successfully installed TM flight series. Click finish to exit the wizard. So the installation has completed. Now, if you're running this on a newer computer, typically you don't need to reboot. If you're running it on a computer that's running a slightly older operating system, such as Microsoft Windows or seven or eight, it may require you to reboot. Just follow the prompts and reboot as required. In our case, we did not have to. So let's go ahead here and now open up the Thrustmaster uh, control panel. So we'll go to all apps. We'll scroll down here to the application. So we'll find it under T. This will be look a little different depending on what operating system your start menu, your windows 10, windows 11, but it's all there. You're just going to find it and control panel and firmware update. So we first thing we want to do is drag each one of these to your desktop. So it's easy to remember where the application is. Same thing for the firmware update. So let's go ahead here and we'll put these in the top corner and we'll start with control panel. So the, this is the control panel for the Thrustmaster T flight HOTUS one flight stick. These settings will help you configure the game controllers installed on your computer. So I've got the flight stick plugged into my computer here. Now we are ready to update the firmware and the drivers. So an important note on that before you plug the flight stick into your computer, make sure that this switch is set for PC. If it's set for Xbox, 
it will not connect. Does that make sense? So if you have it for Xbox and you plug it in for a PC, it won't work. You need to make sure it's set for PC. Now, if you forget, it's not a big deal. You just disconnect the USB cable from the computer and plug it back in once it's set on PC. You'll know it's connected when the device shows up in the control panel. So then you want to first thing you do is go to properties. Now here are the properties for the Thrustmaster T-Fight HOTUS 1 flight stick. You've got your axis joystick and your axis pedals, your point of view hat switch and all the buttons. So pretty self-explanatory. The handle there for the, for the left stick, I don't know, they say left mini stick, but this application must be based on a different stick and they just repurposed it for this. When I move the flight stick around, you're gonna see the Y axis and the X axis move. So when I let it go, it goes right back into the center. If you suffer from something called yaw drift or stick drift, you'll see that this is moving around. If that's the case, you should check out some of my other videos that show you how to address that problem. As you can see, when I move up the throttle, it moves. When I push some of the buttons, they light up on the bottom. But the main reason we're here is to check for firmware updates. So if you look down in the bottom right corner of the application, it shows you Thrustmaster, some technical support information. Firmware 1.17, control panel 3.16. So very important. So this shows me that the firmware I'm running on this flight stick is the one that I've already got, the newest version, which is great. But I'm gonna show you anyway how to update the firmware. So you don't actually want to update the firmware through the control panel. It usually never works. So we're just gonna go ahead here and hit okay, close out the control panel. You then wanna click on this firmware update application. This, this is the Thrustmaster firmware updater. It's gonna show you the device you have connected right here and the firmware. So if you have a device that has firmware older than 1.17, you're going to want to go ahead and update the firmware to whatever the latest version is. As of the recording of this video, it is 1.17. So we're going to simulate that I don't have firmware as the newest version. I'm going to say I have 1.05. So I would see that here with potentially a different boot number. So all you want to do here is just hit OK. And what it's going to do is flash the device and update the firmware. So let's go ahead here and hit OK. Now, while this is happening, don't touch the flight stick. Don't unplug it. Don't even just let it be. It'll update its firmware here, and it's super quick. And you can see final check is done. The T-Flight HOTUS 1 has been successfully updated. So when you hit OK and you're brought back to this screen, it's going to show you that you're now running a newer version of firmware. It should show you 1.17 boot 1.03, which again, as of November 2023 and the creation of this video, that is the newest firmware for this particular flight stick. So that's it, you're done. Now, let's be open about this. Updating the firmware is not gonna give you any enhancements, performance features, or anything like that with the flight stick. The firmware is merely the configuration and control instructions for the device. It ensures maximum compatibility with systems when it's plugged in, whether it's the Xbox or the PC. So you always wanna make sure that you're running the latest general release version. My rule of thumb is if it's something you really care about and you use on a consistent basis, avoid any kind of beta, alpha, or any kind of testing firmwares. Always stick with general release. So that's it. We've connected the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS 1 to a Microsoft Windows computer, installed drivers, updated firmware, and you're ready to keep on gaming. If anybody has any questions or needs any help with any of Thrustmaster's line of products, please drop a comment on the video below and I will do my best to help you out. If you could click the like button for this video, that would be totally awesome. And if you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would absolutely love it. I'm having new and exciting content being released all the time, and if you enable notifications, you'll be the first to know about it. Hope everybody enjoyed this video. Get back to gaming, have some fun, and have an amazing day. I will see you around.